Hello, in this demo we will see the concept of constructor chaining. I will just start a new console application. Now say I have a class A. So what is constructor? Constructor is nothing but it is a special method as we have seen in our earlier videos. It is a special method with same name as class name, no return type and it is invoked automatically whenever we create the object and it is usually public. So I will say public A and a constructor without any parameter is nothing but it is a default constructor. So I will just write console dot write line is constructor and here I will just say with zero params that means with no parameters or I can say zero parameters. Now this is my simple constructor. Now if I create an object of class A here I will say console dot read line. If I create the object of class A, constructor is going to invoke automatically. It should display as constructor with zero params. Now, if I have one more class, say class B, and in this say I have the default constructor, just I am copying from here of class B say public B and I will say B's constructor with zero params. Now I am going to create the object of class B. So my output would be A's constructor with zero params and B's constructor with zero params. Fine. This is simple and direct. Now what is that I will do? I will just go and inherit the class A into class B. So I will say colon A. Now if I execute what would be my output? So I am assuming or my expectation is something like you know my output should be the same. Why? Because you know I am creating the object of class A. So it is going to invoke A's constructor. Then I am creating the object of class B. So it is going to invoke the B's constructor. So, if you observe, what is that I have? The A's constructor got invoked twice. How and when? Let us see this with a breakpoint. Now, whenever I am trying to create the object of class A, it is going to invoke its constructor. This is fair enough, direct. Now, what is that I am doing? I am creating the object of class B. So what is my expectation? It is going to invoke the B's constructor. Fine. But at the time of invocation of B's constructor, it says that B is inherited from class A. B is inherited from class A. Now it becomes the responsibility of class B to invoke its base class constructor. So my control will jump from here to the constructor of its base class. So it is going to execute this constructor then the constructor of class B. So now just I will comment out this. If I execute I should get A's constructor and B's constructor. Now what is happening? Whenever an object of drive class is created it is going to invoke the constructor of its immediate base class. The responsibility of drive class is to invoke the constructor of its immediate base class. This concept is called as constructor chaining. Now this kind of inheritance is called as single inheritance. That means class B is inheriting class A. Now what I will do? I will just go for multi level inheritance. So what is that? I will just say class C is going to inherit class B and here I will just say constructor C 
and I'll say C is constructor with zero params. Now what I'll do instead of creating the object of class B, I'll simply create the object of class C and let us examine what will happen to the chain of constructors. I'll just put a breakpoint. Now, it is going to jump to the constructor of class C. Now, as per the constructor chaining rule, it is the responsibility of draft class to invoke its immediate base class constructor. So, my control will jump from here to the constructor of class B. Now, it sees that class B is again inheriting a new class A. So, now again it becomes the responsibility of draft class to invoke its immediate base class constructor. So, my control will again jump to the constructor of class A, then it going to execute A's constructor, then it comes back and execute the B's constructor, then the final C's constructor. So, whenever I create the object of class C, which is uh, inherited from class B, which is in turn inherited from class A. So, I will get A's constructor, B's constructor and C's constructor with zero params. This concept is called as constructor chaining. We call it as constructor chaining. Now, say here I have a constructor with no parameters or I can say a constructor or a default constructor. Now, for example, I have a constructor with a single parameter. If I go for constructor overloading concept in text and here I will say A's constructor with one parameter. In the same way, I will just write one more constructor B and here I say I will I have a constructor with two parameters. So, I can have there is no problem. So, I will just say B is constructor with two params and in this C say here again I have constructor with a single parameter. I will say C is constructor with one parameter. I am saying C is constructor with one parameter. Now, if I execute, it is going to you know get executed in our old fashion. Now, my draft class constructor is going to invoke its immediate base class default constructor. But what I want if my control comes to this point, I want it to jump to a constructor with two parameter instead of jumping to a constructor with no parameter. I can do that with the help of a keyword called as base. So, here I can simply say colon base and I can pass two parameters as two parameters of type integer I will just say two and four, two integer values I will pass. Now, I will put a breakpoint and let us see what happens. F11. As per the normal rule, my class C object is going to automatically invoke C's default constructor. Uh, from here, in our earlier uh, example, in our earlier program, before editing into this, my control was jumping to default constructor of base class. But now, what is that we are doing? We are saying that base with two parameters. That means we are explicitly calling the base class constructor with two parameters. So, my control should jump from here to this. Now, here am I calling any constructor of its base class explicitly? No. So, what will happen? By default, it is going to jump to the default constructor of base class. So, it has executed this, then comes back to the parameterized constructor, then my default constructor. A is constructor with zero parameter, B is constructor with two parameters and C is constructor with zero parameter. So, what is base? Base is a keyword which is used to invoke one constructor from the another of base class from the drive class. 
I can invoke the constructor of base class from the drive class with the help of base keyword. Now in the same way, if here if I say colon base five. Now let me put a breakpoint. Let us see the flow f11 default constructor from here it will go to the constructor with two parameters from here it will go to the constructor with no parameters so this is the normal flow i got now what i will do while creation of the object i can create the object of class c with no parameters or i can create the object of class c with single parameter now i'm going to create the object of class c with single parameter i'll just pass 5 i'll put a breakpoint so it has invoked the constructor with single parameter now it is the job of drive class to invoke its base class constructor with no parameters so by default it will jump to this now from here i'm explicitly calling the base class constructor with single parameter execute this then comes back then execute this then comes back so hope you might have understood the concept of constructor chaining now in this way i can chain the constructor as per my requirement so this complete concept is called as constructor chaining and we have seen single level inheritance as well as multi level inheritance now you might be worrying or you might be getting confused what is the use of this constructor chaining why is that i am calling base and i am passing the parameters and uh, why you know what is the use of this concept the use of this concept definitely we will see in our next video thank you very much